Aw, thank you. That was very quick. Um, yeah, because our bell rang, so I don't want to eat into your break too much if we go late, right? All right, so uh, this is now going to be our best of TC assembly. So for those of you that are either new here or haven't done Fine Arts Week with us, um, the best of TC is where we celebrate any of our students in the fine arts um, and the accomplishments that they've had so far in the year. Um, band and choir have done uh, solo and ensemble contests. Uh, you've seen the art show hanging in the hallway, so uh, we're gonna announce some of the art winners. And then there's even a uh, creative writing portion where um, some of our students wrote prose and poetry and had that critiqued by a judge and also won awards for that. So we're gonna kinda go through all of those. Um, but first, uh, Mrs. Zilke and I are going to announce the winners of the TC art show. So we're gonna run through this slideshow. You're gonna see uh, briefly who it was, but um, out in the hallway, we usually put stickers and everything, so you'll be able to go and see those pieces uh, hanging outside. But I'll invite Mrs. Zilke up. I know she's busy getting some of our awards ready there. Um, but yeah. All right, so there's seven different categories, and our first category is 2D Mixed Media, and our gold winner is Miriam. All right, we won't have time to clap, sorry, so we'll just wait until the end. We'll clap at the end. Okay, so um, Sadie Tamale is silver, bronze, Peter Heisinga, honorable mention, Leah Cameron, and another, there's a lot of honorable mentions in this category, so Lily Stanick, Rosalind Steiner, Amber Emanuel, another Rosalind Steiner, Jovi Statucci, and then each category also has a teacher's choice, so for this one, Camden Gunn. <laughs> All right, our next category is drawing. Gold goes to Sadie Tamaline. And silver is Miriam. Bronze, Katie Landcamp. Honorable mention, Eden Moore. And teacher's choice is Lindsay Labardi. All right, third category is painting. Gold is Sophia Mook. Silver, Katie Scott. Bronze, Miriam Postal Nagel. Honorable mention, Grace Connolly. Rosalind Steiner. Eden Moore. And Teacher's Choice is Leah Cameron. So our uh, photography winners, there are two categories in photography. The first is digital. Uh, our gold medal winner was Dylan Laszlo. Our silver medal winner was Annika Tenner. Our bronze winner was Julie Debu. Our honorable mention was Kylie Woodruff. And our teacher's choice was also Kylie Woodruff. All right, our film category, gold was Anthony Garcia. Our silver was Jordan Wilson. Our bronze was Olivia Shafsma. Our honorable mention was Peyton Friends. And our teacher's choice was Lillian James. All right, so there's two categories of 3D. This one is things that are functional. Tana Remick got gold. Silver, Chloe Lepink. Bronze, Taylor Parker. And Teacher's Choice, oh, that's not Katie's. <laughs> Forgot to change the name, Hannah Miller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and 3D, non-functional. Gold is Tana Remick. Silver, Luke Canada. And bronze, Ella Podoshnik. And honorable mention, Georgie Romano. And teacher's choice, Katie Sheehan. All 
Okay. And then all of you that did see your name up there, hopefully you remember that. I know we had to go through it a little quickly. Um, but you can come and see Ms. Zilke and I when you're uh, exiting that way, because I know some of you like to do that. Uh, we have a table back there that has your certificates and your medals. So if you won gold, silver, or bronze, we're going to give you that. Um, and then if you want an honorable mention or a teacher's choice, we also have a certificate for you. So if you saw your name up there, uh, you can go ahead and grab that. So. Our next, um, the next people we're going to honor are going to be um, our people that uh, wrote in for our creative writing um, judging. So uh, the winners for that, there were two categories. There was poetry and then there was prose. Uh, Mrs. Tornow set this up for them. I believe that they did creative writing um, during a new class um, and she invited them to come back and write. So. Um, we have in the poetry category, uh, first place, Ellie Yershak, second place was Lori Ong, and third place was Ellie Yershak, go ahead and sweeping there. And then uh, with prose, um, first place was Ian Kazan, second, Kaylee Schulte, and then third was Peyton Friends. And um, as a treat, Peyton um, is going to read her prose uh, piece, Senior Year Death. Every adult tells high school seniors that this time in life is the best because we have our whole life ahead of us. I'm not saying they're wrong, but it's easier to say how wonderful senior year is as an adult with decades of life removed from when they were 18. I am not granted the benefit of retrospect. Instead, I must look at my life right now. And right now feels like I am on my deathbed. I don't mean this in a melodramatic, my life is ending kind of way or a mental health crisis. No, I mean it is the death of childhood consistency, of everything I have grown accustomed to. Years of living in the same house and seeing the same friends every day will be stripped from me. In my junior and senior years, the realization of being far away from my family did not really dawn on me. I would spend hours filtering through colleges, reading scholarship requirements, and writing essays. I knew I was working on going to college, but understanding what that entailed was more nebulous than concrete. I was aware that going to college entailed being far away from my family and friends, but far away is a spatial description. It doesn't encompass the impact my going away has on the people around me. That realization didn't dawn on me until my sister came to me sobbing because she realized I wouldn't be home for her birthday next year. My sister is 10 years old. In the time it will take for me to obtain my bachelor's degree, she will be in eighth grade or just starting high school. High school. Four or five years doesn't sound like much, but there are so many developmental changes that happen between the ages of 10 and 14 to 15. She'll be a teenager and maybe starting driver's education. Her friends and personal tastes will change. Sure, I can call and text her about these things, but I won't get to experience them with her. Calling to say happy birthday isn't the same as seeing her blow out the candles on her cake. It's not just the important milestones I will be missing, but also the little moments with my family and friends will be absent from my life. On Sundays during football season, I used to take my sister out for lunch. It won't be very easy to do that when I'm hundreds of miles away from her. Every time I open a new box of goldfish crackers, I give my father the first handful. He only likes them when they're fresh, so it's become a ritual for me to pour him the first handful. In a few months, I won't be able to do that with him. I grew up with most of my friends, and now we're all going to different colleges scattered across the country, or I will be leaving them behind. My younger brother was my first friend. I can't remember a time when he wasn't in my life. College will be the first time where I won't get to see him or my friends every day. If this time in life is the death of childhood consistency, then graduation is a funeral. Then perhaps, like funerals, I ought to view this as a celebration, but not a typical celebration. Unlike funerals, graduation isn't about the high schoolers graduating. Graduation is the celebration of all the people who have guided me and shaped me into the person I am. Everything I do is a testament to the people who have been in my life and I have gotten to love. Thank you, Peyton. Um, that was really awesome. 
Good reading. All right, so now we're going to move on to uh, the musical portion of our assembly. So this is um, winners from the solo and ensemble contest. I'm pretty sure the judging occurred in February, if I'm correct. Um, so these students would go in front of judges, play their pieces, and then would um, earn their score. So uh, this is usually one of my favorite parts of the assembly. Your peers work really hard on this, and it's sometimes really crazy the amount of musical talent we have here at TC. So uh, we have a variety for you, vocal, instrumental. Um, so our first uh, person to come up is Ben Schuler with a vocal solo. Hi, I'm Ben and I'm gonna be singing Witness by Mark Hayes. Witness for my Lord, who be your witness for my Lord? Who be your witness for my Lord? Who will be your witness for my Lord? Oh, I'll be your witness for my Lord. I'll be your witness for my Lord. I'll be your witness for my Lord. I will be your witness for my Lord. was a man of the Pharisees His name was Nicodemus and he didn't believe The same came to Christ by night Wanted to be taught out of human sight Nicodemus was a man desired to know How a man can be born when he is old Christ told Nicodemus as a friend Man, you must be born again Marvel not man, if you want to be wise Repent, believe, and be baptized Then you'll be a witness for my Lord You'll be a witness for my Lord You'll be a witness for my Lord Soul is a witness for my Lord You read about Samson from his birth he was the strongest man who ever lived on earth Way back yonder in ancient times He killed ten thousand of the Philistines Then old Samson went wandering about Samson's strength was never found out Till his wife sat upon his knee She said, tell me where your strength lies if you Please, for my Lord, there's another witness. Oh, there's another witness. There's another witness. My soul is a witness for my Lord. My soul is a witness. Hi guys, it's me and Finn. We're yeah. singing Agony, which is from the musical Into the Woods by Stephen Sondheim. Um, this piece requires a little bit of introduction, so I am playing the part of Rapunzel's Prince. And I'm Cinderella's Prince, and we're both frustrated because we just can't seem to get uh, our princess. So, all right. Did I abuse her or show her disdain? Why does she run from me? If I should lose her, how shall I regain the heart she has won from me? Agony, beyond power of speech, when the one thing you want 
is the only thing out of your reach. High in her tower, she sits by the hour, maintaining her hair. Blithe and becoming, and frequently humming a light-hearted air. Ah, 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 ah. If there only were doors, agony, oh, the torture they teach. What says intriguing or half so fatiguing as what's out of reach? Am I not sensitive, clever, well-mannered, considerate, passionate, charming, as kind as I'm handsome and heir to a throne? You are everything maidens could wish for. Then why no? Do I know? The girl must be mad. You know nothing of madness. Till you're climbing her hair and you see her up there as you're nearing her, all the while hearing her. Ah, 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 ah. Agony, misery, woe, though it's different for each. Always ten steps behind, always ten feet below, and, and she's just out of reach. Agony. Cut like a knife. I must have her to wife. Clarissa. Oh, I'm Clarissa. That's Annie. That's Philip. That's Leah. That's Henry. And we're playing Adagio for Strings by Samuel Barber.
Schale.
Hi, while we're getting set up, um, I'm Maddie, that's Alyssa, that's Christy, and we are playing, <laughs> hi Theo, uh, we're playing Ta <laughs> Tableau Royale by uh, Kevin Kaiserschat. Uh, yeah. Right, we do have one more soloist. We are gonna run just a little bit over into break, but I swear to you it's worth it because this piano solo is amazing, just like all of our other musicians up here. So David, I'll you can you can pronounce the title, but here's David LaBarba with his piano solo. All right, this is um, the second movement of Beethoven's Pathetic Sonata.
All right, before I let you go, bow your heads and pray with me. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity that we had to celebrate the fine arts this week, dearly Father. We also thank you for all the gifts and talents you give us and our tremendously talented students that we have in this student body. We ask that you can send your angel protection over us during spring break and help us to have some wonderful um, and relaxing times. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good spring break.